handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Fountain Blue race course here on Friday it is the 12th of March 2021 gonna look to feature eighth race from Fountain Blue but before I get on to that remember to please follow me on Twitter at horse race and get five for more selections for race courses around the world and also join me tomorrow for my rebel preview from Oakland and also Tuesday for day one of the Shelton Festival so just in general join me here on YouTube because there's some great racing ahead but let's look at the eighth race from Fountain Blue which is a head scratcher it's the Prix de la Croix de Vitry handicap. It's class three handicap going for a purse thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars. Race for four olds and upwards. We have eighteen horses going eleven 1 hundred meters or five and a half furlongs on the turf course. As a top selection, we'll take the seven horse Cardino Displace. We'll go seven eleven in the forecast exacta. Seven eleven forecast exacta. Top selection seven horse Cardino Displace. Six year old gilded by elusive uh elusive um, city here um, gets Merlin's up in the saddle the horse's most recent outing came in a handicap at Shunti 31st of October 6 furlongs very heavy ground he finished third by one and a half lengths and I thought dra being drawn on the stand side was to his liking he quickened up a little bit he got a good handle of the ground not a bad race that day he's drawn wide which I like here at um, Fount of Low with the straight course and very demanding ground and I think he can really run a good race two back he ran here at, over at Shunti on the 13th of October again heavy ground six furlongs on a class three handicap winning by three quarters length he had the speed to win on that demanding ground quicken up nicely off the front end nothing bad about that race and then before that he ran at Deauville on 30th of August six and a half rungs in a handicap uh, yeah on the poly track finished 10th by five and three quarter lengths there he had blinkers on and his two worst races in his most recent form guide have been with blinkers and he just wasn't really liking it you can say the race before again at Deauville first with the head gear on the poly track six and a half rungs in a handicap finishing six by three and a half lengths blinkers on just wasn't excelling there his most recent race without the blinkers before that was over the mile at Shunti on the turf course and a handicap where he finished second by one quarter lengths. He just had a high weight and I think the trip got to him late. Um, he just couldn't keep up. But uh, back to a sprinting trip off the bench, heavy ground, drawn on the stand sides. At five to one, let's take him along with the 11 horse here, La Lady Shane, Dio Bachelet is on this one. His most recent race at Shunti over the 6th in February was a very good place there. His race two back, though, was horrible, where he was carrying a ginormous weight on his back, but he gets way less weight here today. Back in a class, I think he can win against. Drawn on the stand side at 8-1, to one. we'll give this horse a massive shot in the place pots. But to recap my selection for the 8th from Fountain Blood, let's take the 7 horse, Cordino de Place. Give kudos to the 11 horse, Lady Shane. We'll go 7-11 in the forecast exacta, and we'll use the 7-11 both in the place pod. So Good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.